Hi there. Before you continue with map work, it's a good idea to make sure we know some of the basics. And one of the most important, important basics in map work is latitude and longitude. There's quite often a lot of confusion about latitude and longitude because these things are distances. They are not lines. And people often get confused between the definition of a line of latitude or a line of longitude and the definition of latitude and longitude. So let's have a look at latitude and longitude and then how we work out lines of latitude and longitude from that. If we look at the Earth, Earth is a simple sphere. I'm drawing this freehand. Gee, I've been practicing. Um, and here is the equator. Bit of a wobble. And the North Pole. And down there somewhere, the South Pole. Right, now, dealing with latitude first. Latitude is a distance. And what is it? It is a distance from the equator. So if I take all the places that are the same distance from the equator, and see what they have in common. Right Now, because we're working on a sphere, we can't just simply say it's in kilometers and have done with it. Um, because we need to know kilometers where, from what. So rather than do that, we work from the center of the Earth, and we work in degrees. So if there is the center of the Earth, then the latitude is the angle between the equator, the center of the Earth, and the point we're interested in. That angle there is the latitude. Right. Now, all these places that are the same distance on the surface will have that same angle. Obviously, in this diagram, if I draw it out here, it's going to look like a different angle. But if you think about it, you will realize that that angle there and that angle there are the same. So that then would give us the latitude. So if this is, say, 25 degrees, and it is north of the equator, then this point here would be 25 degrees north. And so we look at all the places that are 25 degrees north, and what do we have? They are all the same distance from the equator, and wherever we put them, we are going to have the same angle from the center. OK, now we join all of those up. And what have we got? All the way around, we join them up, and we have a line of latitude. So a line of latitude and latitude are two completely different things. But they are, of course, related. OK, so what is our definition then? We can look at this in terms of a definition of latitude is a distance. What distance is it? Is the distance measured how? What units measured in degrees? Where is it measured? North or south of what?
as an angle from the center of the earth. Right, so that is latitude. And then a line of latitude joins all places the same distance. North or south. North or south of the equator. Okay, so if we go back to our diagram, there would then be many lines of latitude. Let's draw 25 degrees south of the equator, and then go something like that all the way around. And the latitude of the pole would be 90 degrees south, or... 90 degrees north. That is because that angle between the pole and the center of the Earth is 90 degrees. Right, so these would be referred to as the high latitudes near the pole and then the low latitudes. It's also quite confusing sometimes because people are used to seeing the Earth drawn like this and understandable that you think that the North Pole is high latitudes, but so is the South Pole. Why? Because it's high in terms of degrees, near 90. And the low latitude would be at the equator. Right. Now, that, of course, doesn't define exactly where a place is, it just defines its distance from the equator. So we need something else to define where it is along that line, and that of course is longitude. So 